Hello, this um, tutorial is going to be rather short, I suppose, because I just want to show you how to create materials, how to assign them, and, well, those kind of things. Um, creating a material is pretty simple. Um, we are in Cycles Renderer, which is my preferred way of rendering, because we have different types of material for each um, render engine. But I um, really recommend you to stick with cycles, so just enable that. And then we can go to the material tab and create a new material. And yeah, now we already have a white material that we created. We can do go down here and if we go from solid, which is the default, to material, we can actually see the color that we choose here. <coughs> so this is a tree. So I'm going to give it a brownish color for the stomp. But now um, the entire tree is colored brown. That is because right now it just has this single material. So I'm going to add a new material. So you hit this plus sign and then go to new material. And then you have a second one. You can uh, rename those, like let's call this log and this um, leaves. In that way, oh, there's an E to match. Um, this way we um, keep track of uh, what materials are used for what. So now we have leaves and we can give this a greenish color, which is pretty simple to do. Just choose a nice green. Now, how do we make um, the leaves green? We select the material and go into edit mode can also do that using tab. You can see my keys down here. Then um, you need to select all the faces that should have the leaf material because materials are based on faces in the default mode. There's also a mode for vertices but that's not really used for a lot. So to select these I'm going to point at one uh, well bunch of leaves and I will hit L. That way I can select um, all the connected faces um, well with one single click. Now I can um, select our leaves material and hit assign. And that way if we go out of the edit mode we just assigned our leaf material. Pretty easy. Um, Let's say we had a third material, which is called um, better leaves. Because um, at some point you went in and created a better leaf um, material because um, this was like, well, a purpose material. So now you could um, select all the leaves again, but there's a shortcut and that is using this select button. And deselect, of course, does the um, exact opposite. Um, so you could select all of these, select better leaves and hit assign. And there you go, you now created well, the um, new leaves. And you could go to the old leaves, hit minus, and then you just, well, deleted the old material. The thing is, um, if you hit plus, you can actually, instead of clicking new, still select the old material. But there's a zero in front of it. And this zero tells you that it is not being used right now. Um, that means if you save Blender, close it, the material will get dumped. For now it will get stored, but as soon as you close Blender it uh, will get deleted. So if you still want to keep this, you can click this little F button, which creates a fake user. Um, this fake user, if we now remove this again, and we can see there's an F in front of it. That means that it has a fake user, which means that it is not going to be deleted because it is used in the scene somehow. Uh, that way you can store materials that you don't use without um, losing them, essentially. <coughs> okay, um, 
bits um, the basics of uh, managing materials, but I want to show you another trick. So if I create a new mesh, let's say I will create um, our Zen over here. And our Zen should have the, um, like it doesn't have any materials now, I could add them, but I just want it to have the same materials as the tree because like all trees could have the same materials and that just makes sense. So then I can uh, select the Zen, then shift, select a V3 additionally, and then hit um, Control L and materials. That way the materials will get linked. So if I now add our old leaf material to the tree, um, no, the Zen doesn't get it. So it doesn't get updated. But that way you can um, transmit like 10 or 20 materials pretty easily from one object to another without needing to, well, um, yeah, add them all by hand. Okay, that's it for um, material management. Next time we're going to go over well, some more material related stuff, we will look at the node editor. So, see you then.